It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Juliana Jutai Lima and Alex Chambers. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. You ready to fight? You ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride and the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice kick to the head. Chambers gets caught by that straight punch there. That one hurt. Chambers gets caught with that punch. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. It looks to me like she's limping. She might be injured. Good combination. Oh. Nice right hand. Huge Ooh. elbow lands to the head. Oh, this might be the end. That is it. <laughs> Brutal ground and pound for the KO. Yes, Joe, just outstanding ground and pound for her to finish her opponent tonight. She was throwing one big shot after the next, not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight. We can see it one more time from a different angle. Ground and pound at its finest, and that is the shot that ends this fight. Check it out again. Boom! Out cold. And there she is after the huge knockout victory here tonight. What a moment for this young fighter. You gotta feel pretty good for her, Joe. All right, let's get it inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Contest at one minute, 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Juliana And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an absolute superstar, especially given what she did tonight. Biggest knockout victory of her career. Certainly kept the judges out of it, as she said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus, I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is gonna get a high-profile opponent next. And she is gonna enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coaches and teammates. It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Liz Carmouche. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Carmouche is 33. Aguilar is 35. Carmouche will have a three-inch reach advantage. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. Oh, she's got side control now, knee to the body. Another knee landed by Carmouche. And very effective with the ground and pound. Nasty ground and pound elbow. And there's a nice knee to the body. The ground strikes continue to pile up. And there's another nice knee to the body. These are hard knees to the body. Well, it's one thing to land a singular elbow. It's an entirely different thing to string them together. Beautifully done there by Carmouche. Oh, she knees the body here in side mount. Well done. Big Huge elbow, there, elbow to the head. Big knee to the body. Another nice knee. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Another nice knee to the body. Good shot to the head. Lands 
a big elbow there. Knee to the body. Another nice knee. That's a clean left hand. Knee to the body. And a hammer fist. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Carmouche. Oh, nice knees to the body. Right in the bread basket once more. Big punch from the top. Excellent movement here on the ground. Good, solid strike on the ground. Excellent posture. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's wow. out. She's out cold. She's wow. out cold. Ground and pound knockout. Yeah, Joe, she might have the best ground and pound game in this entire division. It was certainly on full display here tonight. And it's one thing when you're trying to score on the ground and bide some time a little bit. She was trying to finish this result, literally trying to knock her opponent's head through the canvas. And ultimately, she gets the desired result here tonight. And maybe a $50,000 performance bonus will follow. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Liz Well, she's got all the tools, Joe, and she certainly put them to good use tonight as she gets the win and gets so with style points by way of the knockout. No judges needed for this one, and you can be sure her bankroll is going to be fatter on Monday morning. She'll probably get a bonus. At the very least, though, the celebration is on. You see there with her coaches and her teammates. Nothing better in all of pro sports than to win a mixed martial arts fight at the highest level. Congratulations. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Alpha Kat Zingano and Leslie Smith. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. Both fighters are 35 years old. Smith is three inches taller. Zingano will have a two inch reach advantage. You ready? You ready? All right, with that, we are underway. Good to have you with us, as always, as we broadcast live tonight from United Center in Chicago. Oh, flying knee. Hard hook. Vicious combinations. Oh! That's a big punch from the clinch. Knee to the body. Now oh, big knee. knee. strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful technique to land the fight ending shot. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's see that again. Smack, look at that elbow. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Liliana is going to stop for this contest at 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alpha. Well, there are a few greater highs in all of professional sports than to have your hand raised inside that octagon. But she took it a step further tonight. Massive knockout victory. No TKO here. This was a flush KO. She's probably getting some bonus money. One thing I can guarantee you, she is getting a massive high-profile opportunity next. Congratulations as the celebration continues following the big KO tonight.
All right, coming up next, it's a women's bantamweight matchup between Alexandra Albu and Felice Herrick. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. You ready? You ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of Pride and the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Here's another very nice kick. Body kick now by Alpha. Herrick gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Wow. Oh. oh, a big left hook. This could be it. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Well, Joe, can't say we're all that surprised, right? She told us during fight week that she needed to work on her overall efficiency. She wanted to get this fight to the ground early and often. That is exactly what she did. And maybe the submission win came even earlier than she expected it to, but a near-perfect performance out of this young woman here tonight. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliotta is going to stop in this contest at one minute, eight seconds of the very first round. Referring the winner by tap out, Alexandra Stitch good was that as you get to see her now celebrating with her coaches and training partners. She really put an added focus on getting a submission win here tonight, or at least getting a finish. But she said, I got to figure out a way to leave the judges out of it. I don't want to go to the scorecards. I need to get a finish to take my career to that next level. And a submission win like this will certainly go a long way in doing just that. She has certainly set herself up for a high-profile opponent now moving forward. It is a women's bantamweight matchup between Juliana Jutai Lima and Liz Carmouche. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Carmouche is 33. Lima is 35. Carmouche will have a one-inch reach advantage. You ready? You ready? And we are underway here at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. All of Juliana Lima's TKO victories have come in round one, but the finishes haven't really been there in the UFC. You can be sure her corner has prioritized a stoppage victory here under the lights tonight. All right, first round is underway now, and you gotta watch out for her powerful overhand punches. Most fighters in this division, they know what's coming, but as yet, they've been unable to stop it. Let's see how it goes here early on in this one. Good defense there. Lima gets lit up by that straight punch. That's oh, a hard one. hook for her there. Big punches here. Hard straight punch. Back and forth we go. Nice combination. Big oh, shot to the left. Massive left hand. Man. She heard her down. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Big knee to the body. A little bit uneventful. Back to over under control. Hook in the clinch there by Lima. 
Double underhooks now in the clinch. We'll see what she can. Tying up here in the clinch, looking for openings. Oh, you can't place these knees anymore perfectly. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, the clinch battle continues. Now she's got over under. Switching stances here. She's stuck. Oh! This could be it right here. Body kick, look at that. And she's down. Shot lands and another knockdown. And here, another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action packed round! It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. The next round will soon come out. Brittany Palmer in the building. Second round underway. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Those punches are very hard. And how about that shin? Big power in that hook. to land a huge left for the victory. Yeah, Joe, that was just a near-perfect strike to end the fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. And this is exactly the way she drew it up. She said, I need to win this fight, but I need to do it by stoppage. I can't leave it in the judges' hands. If I'm going to take my career to the next level, I've got to get the knockout win here tonight. Mission accomplished. Let's see it one more time. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout, Liz She is, ladies and gentlemen. She has the potential to be an absolute superstar, especially given what she did tonight. Biggest knockout victory of her career. Certainly kept the judges out of it, as she said she was going to do. Maybe she gets a bonus. I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, Joe, she is going to get a high-profile opponent next. And she is going to enjoy this evening tonight celebrating with her coaches and teammates. It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Alpha Katzingano and Alexandra Albu. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. You ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go. All right, early round one here, the perennial bantamweight contender, Kat Zingano. She has shown a penchant for getting off to a fast start and also closing strong as well. Paid for her aggressiveness against Ronda Rousey. We'll see how she chooses to attack here early. Nice punch by Zingano. 
All right, first round is underway. Let's see how long it takes her to find her range with those vaunted, powerful overhand punches. Obviously, it's a big part of her repertoire, and more often than not, the UFC, even when opponents have known it has been coming, they have been unable to stop it. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Oh, a nice straight there by Alpu. Right left combo by Katzenga. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Man, that cut just continues to get worse for her. And she lands another hook there. She's really landed several debilitating shots in this round and starting to find a home for it now consistently. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Alpu gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Under three minutes to go in round one. She blocks that offense, Joe. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Big shot to the head. She's stunned. She's hurt. Body kick, look at that. Oh, this could be it right here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, very nice. Good leg kick. How about that shin? Oh! This could be it! Oh! There's a nice inside leg kick. Leg kick checked nicely by Albu. Nice one, two there. Watch for her to set back again now. It's been a big weapon for her here tonight. Let's see if she goes back to it. Albu's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. Oh, whoa! This could be it right here. 30. seconds. Oh! Man! Oh! Huge right hand! Round five minutes down. All right, well, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on her cheek has gotten out of control. Really, really bad, and I think if it gets any worse, they're gonna have to at least call in the doctor, if not stop this fight. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. Look at me, I'm here. That last round was rough. That's what we expected. This round, we're gonna turn it around. I want you to get it. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Second round underway. She blocked the punch. Oh! This could be it! Oh! Big body shot body! Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Zingano gets caught with that punch. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, that's a good strike there by Alpha Cat Zingano. Nice punch to the body. Oh, she continues to land that hook of hers much like she did in the previous round. Good elbow from the top. Albu gets touched, and once again, it's that elbow. Go, that has something. been there all night. Defense has got to be better. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, elbow to the head. Full back mount here. Oh, this is nasty. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. She's attacking with the rear naked choke. Looks like she's got that rear naked choke locked in tight. Gets that bicep on the hand, gets the other hand on the back of the head. Incredible! She's doing absolutely incredible! Used excellent.
excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Yeah, Joe, hard to find any fault with her execution there down the stretch. She set up the choke perfectly, clearly had it sunk in deep, and her opponent got to the point where she was going to go to sleep if she didn't tap out. So the tap comes, and no bigger win than the one she just turned in here tonight. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. Well, she couldn't have drawn it up any better than that as she gets the win by submission tonight. Big win and an even bigger statement made to the rest of this division. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. To bring the winner by tap out, Alpha So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations. It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Liz Carmouche and Alpha Cat Zingano. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Carmouche is 33, Zingano is 35. She will have a two inch reach advantage. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC Women's Bantamweight title is on the line. Lands a punch. Just missed with the left there. Nice jab. Punches in bunches. Timing perfect. You better play better defense than that. Snaps off the jab. Oh. There. Posture's up now, and she lands a huge elbow. Beautiful body shot there, too. Stay heavy here as best she can. Carmouche getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Good punch. Transitions back to full guard. Clean punch. Back to half guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Katzenkopf. Nicely done reversal. Just over three minutes now to go. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Zingano. Hammer fist. Keeps the elbow there. Oh, elbows landing in bunches. Now you gotta cover up. Changes her stance. Round one. Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. Lands a foot stop there, Joe. You saw a lot of those back in the day. Nice job by Zingano. Couple good knees there. Oh, lands a hip toss now. Side control. Hard shots to the body being landed on the ground. Half guard here. Good shot to the body. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Zingano. 
There are more hammer fists. Zingano ground and pound from half court. Carmouche gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Into side control again. Knee to the body again. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, hard to do much more damage than that over five minutes. Two knockdowns in the round, a big round there from Zingano. Two huge knockdowns, big, big moments in that round. Here's a big punch that results in a knockdown. Excellent strike here, lands on target. Here we see a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Very nice leg kick there by Alpha Cats and Gun. Good punch. How about that shin? And now mixing one into the body. Oh, she snaps off another stiff jab. Perfect employment of the... Good defense there. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. He's a, a nice and right there. Oh, man. Vicky! Another knockdown! She's out! Oh, do you believe it? A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Well, Joe, she talked a lot about finishing this fight and taking the judges out of it, and she couldn't have done it much better than that. She caught her opponent flush with that kick, full force, full extension, and that spelled the end of the night for the opposition. And when it comes to her highlight reel, Joe, this is the top of the list. This is exactly what she needed here tonight. Great angle here. Boom! And that's all she wrote. Well, that knockout win is useful for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She lit up this arena here tonight, and you can be sure the celebration is on and will continue deep into the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and the Well, ladies and gentlemen, we witness history here tonight. Congratulations to the new champion of the world. And you can see her emotions are spilling over. And hard to blame her, given the magnitude of what she accomplished here tonight. They are all now chasing you in this division. You thought they would be for some time. Belt looks good on her. Congratulations to the new UFC champ.